Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the built-in bandwidth management features and the application firewall features of the SonicWall firewall to limit the bandwidth usage of accessing the Spotify.com website. Okay, to begin, log into the firewall and go to Application Firewall. And the first thing we want to do, we kind of want to work them in reverse order here. We're going to create an action. What is it that we want to do? And in this scenario, we just want to simply limit the amount of bandwidth that uh, users can use when accessing Spotify.com. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a new bandwidth filter. The first thing we want to do is give it a name. So let's call it uh, BWL for bandwidth limit. And we'll give them uh, 256K. And the action is going to be bandwidth management. And in this case, we want to enable inbound bandwidth management to limit the amount of uh, bandwidth used when downloading from the website. And in this case, we do not want to give them any guaranteed bandwidth because we don't care if they have any or not. But we want to max them out at what we specified, the 256K. And then as far as the bandwidth priority, since this is a low priority website, we're going to go ahead and switch that to 7, which is the lowest rating possible. And go ahead and enable tracking bandwidth usage. And select OK. So now you'll see in your list, we have our uh, BWL 256 for a bandwidth limitation of 256. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to create an application object. Now the application object is how we tell the sonic wall to identify that the user is on the Spotify.com website. So we're going to create a new object. And for the object name, we'll just put in Spotify.com website. And for the object, we will call it the HTTP, HTTP host. And then for the matching, we want to put in what we want to, uh, what we want the application firewall to look for in the data itself. So we're just going to put in Spotify.com and click Add. And then we select OK. Now we can see in our application objects, we have our Spotify.com website. It's an HTTP host uh, object. Uh, matching type we set to partial so that if it's www.spotify.com or just Spotify.com, it's going to recognize that object. Next, in the last step, is we want to create the policy. This is where we bring together uh, our address object and our action and create the actual policy to limit the bandwidth. So we select Add New Policy. Okay, so first we want to create a name for this. We're just going to call it uh, Bandwidth Management for Spotify.com. And the policy type is going to be HTTP client, because we're going to limit our client in this case. Uh, address, any client. Uh, we're going to say uh, any HTTP uh, service. Not going to exclude anybody's addresses. And for the object, this is where we select our Spotify.com website. And for the action, we want to limit them to the BWL 256 action that we set up. And we're not going to set a schedule. We're just always going to 
leave this bandwidth limitation in place and connection is going to be client side and advanced we just select any to any and select OK so now our policy is in place and to kind of give a demonstration of how this actually works we're going to go ahead and disable that, that policy right now then I'm going to switch over to the Spotify website and go ahead and clear my cache and we'll just click on a couple pages here you can see the page fairly snappy starting up let's go back to the home page and back into the firewall let's go ahead and enable our bandwidth management on that website and back over to Spotify and I'm gonna clear the cache and now we'll go ahead and try about and as you can see now it's loading much slower still loading switch to another page Once again you can see how slow it's loading so that's kind of a, a good judgment uh, to see whether or not uh, your policy is in place okay and that's all it takes to uh, limit the amount of bandwidth a user can use going to the spotify.com website.